Greetings. Hey, good Friday. Hello. Good to, good to be with you for Noonday Prayers again on Friday. We're going to use Psalm 102 today, starting at verse 13. And a reading from Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 34. <clears throat> Let's begin. Let us begin. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. And our reading, Psalm 102, 13 through 21. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to have mercy upon her. Indeed, the appointment, appointed time has come. For your servants love her very rubble, and are moved to pity even for her dust. The nations shall fear your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion, and his glory will appear. He will look with favor on the prayer of the homeless. He will not despise their pleas. Let this be written for a future generation, so that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord looked down from his holy place on high, from the heavens he beheld the earth. That he might hear the groan of the captive and set free those condemned to die. That they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord and his praise in Jerusalem. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and, and to the, the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And the reading again from Ezekiel 34, 17 through 31. As for you, my flock, thus says the Lord God, I shall judge between sheep and sheep, between rams and goats. It is, not, is it not enough for you to feed on the good pasture? but you must tread down with your feet the rest of your pasture? When you drink of clear water, must you foul the rest with your feet? And must my sheep eat what you have trodden with your feet, and drink what you have fouled with your feet? Therefore, thus says the Lord God to them, I myself will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep, because you push the flank and the shoulder, and butted with all the weak animals with your horns, until you scattered them far and wide. I will save my flock, and they shall no longer be ravaged, and I will judge between sheep and sheep. I will set up over all them one shepherd, my servant David, and he shall feed them. He shall feed them and be their shepherd, and I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David shall be prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. I will make them a covenant of peace. They shall live in safety, and no one shall make them afraid. They shall know that I, the Lord their God, am with them, and that they, the house of Israel, are my people, says the Lord God. You are my sheep, the sheep of my pasture, and I am your God, says the Lord. Hear what God is saying to his people. Thanks be to be God. God. It's an interesting reading. It is. Yeah. Did you connect the psalm with it? The psalm is uh, David's song that responds to the, the rebuilding, the uh, uh, return no. uh, from exile. This is uh, Ezekiel. Uh, the better part of Ezekiel, the first part is pretty gloomy. The prophet to the um, to Israel while it's in exile in Babylon. In chapter 34, we begin the promise of the return that God will redeem His uh, chosen and um, generate a new covenant. There's so much in this text that I have to be selective to get. Um, what will fit in a brief amount of time. 
uh, please go back and read chapter 34. It's, uh, it says a lot. There's so much that forecasts the life of Jesus. Mm. Um, so we have this metaphor of the sheep and the shepherds, which is prevalent throughout uh, Scripture. You know, Jesus mm -hmm. uses it a lot. Uh, and Ezekiel's not the first to use it. It goes back um, through the uh, Old Testament. Um, so it's used here as a metaphor for uh, judgment applies to the whole community. You've got the fat sheep that have harmed the vulnerable sheep. What I picked up in this hearing was twice it says sheep and sheep. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't sheep versus a shepherd or there's enough blame to or go around. Or sheep or goats or yeah. something else. There's enough blame to go around. So the, the fat sheep have harmed the vulnerable sheep and the shepherds have failed their obligation to look after. So the leaders of Israel have failed, but they're uh, not the only guilty party. The sheep against sheep have taken advantage of one another. Um, so this sad state of the haves versus the have-nots, um, the haves exploiting the have-nots, is the fundamental uh, reason for the exile, that judgment has Injustice and oppression was the primary cause for the fragmentation of the community. Key word here. Fragmentation. Fragmentation of the word. the community. Uh, <coughs> so exile was a judgment affecting the whole community. Mm -hmm. right? A couple of key verses that really struck me. Must my sheep eat what you have trodden with your feet and drink what you have fouled with your feet? Mm -hmm. That's an environmental statement, isn't it? Uh, it's one way to look at it. Yeah. <coughs> yep. Certainly uh, applies to today, for sure. That is a contemporary theme, isn't it? What the expense to the have-nots for us to have what we do to the environment in order to enjoy some of the higher end luxuries and comforts is still a conviction to this day, right? Mm -hmm. The other that grabbed me is because you pushed with flank and shoulder and butted all the weak animals with your horns until you scattered them far and wide. Now that's a contemporary theme. True. Isn't it? Yeah. The fragmentation of our um, society. Society, yeah, the political scene. I don't want to get Ooh, political don't. today, but um, <laughs> you know, the exercise of power that's um, selfish and greedy, uh, and it's, it's not bad enough that I get more, but I get more at your expense. And the folks, that are getting got, you know, become uh, disenfranchised and, right. and resentful <clears throat> and the whole community, the whole fabric of community um, starts down. disintegrate. Mm -hmm. um, what came to my mind was um, I can hear God saying to Ezekiel, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> He said that? <laughs> no, Mom said that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what this is uh, <coughs> talking about. Is this right. is why we're in uh, the situation we're in. I'm going to rescue the folks from exile. But first I'm going to explain how, you, how it got this way. And, you know, maybe you need to look at things a little differently and we'll make a new covenant and I need to stop there because there's so much more. The covenant now is with the people. Uh, uh, it's not with the land, right? So 
huge, huge amount of uh, history and context here that I wish we had time to go. It'd be a good um, study subject, I think. So, Bob. <laughs> For Bob. <laughs> For Bob. <laughs> your next, your next project. <clears throat> good enough. Let's uh, <coughs> let's continue. Let's continue with our prayers. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you. My peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let's join our prayers together. Uh, your prayers with the prayers of those on our parish prayer list that have asked our prayers. We start by remembering the Frankie Ring and, and their family mm -hmm. at the passing of uh, Jim Ring. May he rest in peace, rise in glory. The Gregg family. And for uh, Deanna Jacobs, Jacobs. Joe mm -hmm. Jacobs and his family. And we remember Deb DeMarco. Continue to pray for Dickie, Vicki Dorsett recovering from, um, from her hip surgery. Beth Weeks. Carl and Julie, Julie and Izzy, displaced by fire, and uh, Laura Sturzing. Scott Davis and family, Charlie Swift, Lisa Duff, and Barbara Caffrey, Phil Locker, Dottie Dudley, Holly Payne, Fort Jan Packard, Dave Jocks, Beck Saunders, Dick Bolin, Joan Gerace, and Tommy Succi, Bill, and Gloria Thompson, Karen Interary. Steve and Candy, Dick and Margaret, Warren, Sabrina, Julius, Dave Wilkinson, Jen, Cesar, Keith, David and the Derber family, Marina, Henry, Earl, Betty and Branson, and Bill Gentry, Martha Gentry's brother. Mm. And those prayers that you bring silently, aloud, or written into Facebook, and we pray for God's vision of a beloved community to become our vision for this world, for our community, for our parish, for our own lives, for peace in our nation and the world, particularly remembering Ukraine, Syria, and uh, African nations. We pray for the state of Israel and the continued conflict mm -hmm. And we welcome Chet uh, home, and that erases our deployed uh, <coughs> list for a little right. while until someone reports in that they're deployed. Chet Shutak has uh, wrapped up his uh, deployment. In the South, sea, South China Sea. South China Sea, and he's on his way home, and his, and his carrier is headed to the boneyard. It was the... Uh, Ooh. The Ike, the Eisenhower is going into uh, retirement. On into uh, wow, yeah, it's been around for a while. So welcome home, Maggie and um, all the other deployed folks. We're glad you're home safely. Yes. If you know of deployed folks, please let us uh, let uh, Gretchen in the office know to update the prayer list. Now we have some birthdays, anniversary bunch. And I'm going to go a little bit further because the office is closed Monday, so I'm going to uh, go through next. Go through at least Monday, at least Monday. We'll see. And if I, if get you don't get mentioned, <laughs> hopefully Bob and Gretchen will pick it up maybe on Wednesday. So here we go. Birthdays. Woo 
Uh, tomorrow, Lara Britton and Greg Rencap, Camp whoop, uh, are celebrating. On Saturday, we have um, Jim Rose and Nina Rodriguez, Kipper DeGarve, and Tony Putzig. On Sunday, Harry Geroy. And on Monday, John Brown, Judy Coons, and Beck Saunders. Everybody is yeah. celebrating birthdays at the end of May. Wow. And we have our anniversaries as well. We have today, Michael and April Improta. Very good. Lindsay and Robert McCarty. To, uh, for Saturday, we have Betsy and John Morse. Sunday, Alex and Drew Stevenson. And Monday, Anna Marie and Mike Ginder. Well, what a great... Holy cow, folks. What a great group of people. Not only are we celebrating Memorial Day, <laughs> we're celebrating a lot of anniversaries and birthdays. So may God bless you all on your special days and continue to bless you through the coming year. Wishing all the best for you in the coming year. Mm -hmm. And with that... Let's see, Sunday is Pentecost. Senate, uh-huh. And you know what? 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 What, Sammy? Can you tell us? Folks, you wear red. And if you have something that says Old Donation Episcopal Church, even better. I mean, if Sammy has it, you got to have it, right? <laughs> He's not happy. But it is Pentecost. Uh, we're in the Great Hall. Wait, let me, Sammy, let me talk to you about the doctrine of the, of the Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit. The, you're not... Dad, no. Okay. No. So what, we're in the uh, uh, Great Hall? I think so. For the Pentecost service? It's always a wonderful, exciting service, and uh, look forward to seeing you there. That's right. And with that, um, I think that's it. As I said, the office is closed on Monday. Uh, I'm sure Bob and Gretchen appreciate that. Uh, the funeral is tomorrow oh. for uh, Jim Ring. Ring at so 4. 4 o'clock in the afternoon if you want to come and uh, Feel so inclined. support Frankie, uh, Frankie and the family. And, the family. Mm -hmm. and now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Hey, we'll see you around church. Bye, everyone. Bye. Take Have care. Have a good Friday.